Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a change that I feel like is very underrated heading into patch 8.2. I don't think a lot of people are talking about these changes, but I feel like it's a change that is really gonna make certain champions quite a bit weaker here in patch 8.2. Now what this change is, is basically targeted damaging spells are now gonna draw minion aggro. So things like Pantheon Q, Vladimir Q, Victor Q, whenever you hit the opponent with one of those spells, you're going to be drawing minion aggro. And in this video, we're going to go over like the significance of these changes and which champions are going to be hit the most by these changes. And then also which champions it won't really affect too much. So as you can see up on screen here, I have all of the champions that are gonna be affected by these changes, and I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to the patch note. So if you wanna take a look at all these changes, then you can go ahead and do so. But basically there's a really long list here of different champions that are going to be affected. Now the ones that I cover in this video are going to be the ones that I think will be affected the most, and the ones I don't cover at all, they're really not gonna be affected too much by these changes. So first off, we're going to go over and I'm going to explain how these changes are really going to affect a lot of these solo laners in this video. And then after that, I'll explain which champions will be hit the most by these changes and then which champions won't really be affected too much. So this change is gonna hit a lot of these lane bully champions in the top lane and in the mid lane because a lot of these champions did a really good job at bullying the enemy out in the laning phase. And then after that, they could look to set up a freeze once they did end up getting lane control and once they poked out the enemy top laner or enemy mid laner. But because these targeted abilities now draw minion aggro, your ability to freeze during the laning phase is gonna be a lot harder. and. I feel like this will definitely affect higher elo players a lot more than lower elo players, but it's just going to be a lot harder for these champions to get a freeze going now in the laning phase. Unless you move like super far up and you're just away from the minions and you're poking from there, then it's not going to affect you too much. But just your ability to zone now and your ability to freeze the lane is going to be heavily impacted by this change in patch 8.2. And then I will just briefly explain how this will affect the lane freezing and why you won't be able to do it anymore for those of you who don't really have um, that great of a knowledge on like how to freeze the lane. So basically, whenever you draw minion aggro, the enemies are gonna, the enemy minions are gonna start attacking you, but your minions are still going to be attacking the enemy minions. And what this means is that it's automatically going to start pushing the wave into the enemy's tower. If more minions on your side are attacking the enemy minions, then there are enemy minions attacking your side, then it's automatically going to shove the wave into the enemy's turret. And that's why this change is really going to affect just these champions ability to freeze and look to gain advantages in the laning phase. And then not only will it affect your ability to freeze in the laning phase, it's also going to affect the ability for you to just keep the wave in the middle of the lane. If you're poking in lane with these target ab targeted abilities now, it's automatically pretty much just going to push the wave into the enemy's tower. And what this means is that for these champions, you're almost always going to be shoved and the lane's almost always going to be shoving into the enemy's tower. So your ability to be ganked now in the early game is going to be a lot higher and you're just going to be a lot more vulnerable now playing these champions during the laning phase. So first up here, we're going to go over the champions that are going to be affected a lot by the changes, and this should definitely make them quite a bit weaker here for patch 8.2. Now, if I if you do think I've missed a certain champion in this video, there were a lot of different champions being affected by these changes. So if you do think I missed a really big one, then be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But the ones that I think are going to be the most impactful or the champions that will be hit the most by these changes in the next patch are going to be cast. Cassidin, Pantheon, Vladimir, Victor, Rise, Annie, Cassiopeia, and I'll go into detail about each of these champions briefly here as to why I think they will be affected a lot. 
So first up, for Kassadin, this is going to hit him a lot in this next patch because the way that Kassadin dealt with his weaker laning phase and the way that he was able to deal with these AP mages that would try to poke him out in the laning phase is he would use his Q aggressively in lane to trade so that he just wouldn't end up getting chunked out really easily and he would just stay even in trades with the enemy mid laner. But because now this is going to draw minion aggro, it means that you're almost always going to lose the trade with Kasten now when you're trading with your Q in the laning phase and that just means his laning phase is going to get even weaker and it's going to get a lot harder for Kasten to get past the early laning phase and into his mid to late game to where he really does thrive so Kasten is just going to be a lot more punishable now in patch 8.2 and I feel like he's probably not going to be that great of a pick anymore for solo Q. So as for Pantheon, this is really going to affect him a lot in certain matchups. So if he's going up against a pick that already did pretty well against him in previous patches, so someone like a Scion who's got a built-in shield in his kit that can just automatically block the Pantheon Q, and also someone like a Riven who's got the shield with her E, any of these champions that already had a good way at blocking Pantheon's Q damage, I feel like Pantheon's just going to be a really bad pick into them now because when you do try to poke them with your Q in the laning phase, you're already going to have your Q damage shielded and then you're also going to be taking minion aggro now. So it's going to be a lot harder in a lot of these matchups for Pantheon to really thrive. And I feel like he's just really not going to be a great blind pick anymore. And he'll probably only be a situational pick against like certain squishy top laners now in patch 8.2. So Vladimir is pretty self-explanatory, I think, as to how this will affect him. He's kind of similar to Pantheon. He's just going to be using his Q in the laning phase to try to harass, and that's just automatically going to end up pushing the wave into the enemy's tower, and it's just going to be a lot harder for Vladimir to really take advantage of his stronger laning phase in these melee matchups. Now, as for Victor here, Victor's already in a really bad state in this patch, so this one's just pretty much a nail in the coffin for Victor. This is just going to make him super unviable now for patch 8.2. The one thing he did have in certain matchups is that he could use his Q for the first few levels and just look to harass because he's going to be getting that shield from his Q as well, so it made it a lot harder for enemy mid laners to actually trade against Victor during the early game, but because now he doesn't really even have that. I just don't think that this champion is even going to be somewhat viable in this next patch. I just think this change is really, really bad for Victor. This is also going to hit Rise a lot because what you're looking to do with Rise in the early game a lot of the time, especially in melee matchups, is you're just looking to spam your E on the enemy melee champion and just look to harass them out, but you're just no longer really going to be able to do that now with Rise. If you do look to do that, you're automatically going to be shoving the wave into the enemy's tower, and depending on who the enemy jungler is, you're just going to be a very easy gank target in the early game. Now, in certain matchups, you do want to, like, perma push with rise but it's just gonna be a lot harder in matchups that you want to freeze now and that you still want to look to harass the enemy mid laner for you to actually succeed. Now I think this change is really going to hit Annie a lot too in this patch. Annie's really only ability in the laning phase that she can use to poke with is her Q. You're not really going to be getting a lot of poke off with your W in the laning phase and because your Q is now tar or is, is now going to draw that minion aggro, it means that you're going to be shoving all the time with Annie now if you're looking to go for poke in the laning phase. And because Annie doesn't really have like any good CC ability that she can use in the laning phase to try to get away from a gank and she doesn't have a gap closer, she's going to be affected a lot more in my opinion than a lot of these other champions just because if you're shoving into the enemy's tower with Annie, you're just such an easy gank target and it's going to make the laning phase a lot harder now if you are playing Annie. And then the final champion that I think this is going to affect the most in this next patch is going to be Cassiopeia. So Cassiopeia during the laning phase, what a lot of players would look to do is they would just spam their E on the opponent at level one and just try to get a lane advantage. And a lot of the time in especially melee matchups, you could look to get a good health advantage during the first level, but now you're going to be drawing that minion aggro with your E. So it's probably not even going to be worth it as Cassiopeia to look to go for those early trades with your E and with Cassiopeia already being in a very bad state right now, at least for solo queue, I just think this change is really going to hurt her a lot in 8.2. 
And the champions I think will be moderately affected by these changes are going to be Akali, LeBlanc, Timo, Anivia, Nalzahar, Nami, and Janna. So the reason to why I think these champions are only moderately affected by their changes is because they don't heavily rely on their targeted ability in order to succeed in the early game. So for example, someone like a LeBlanc, you don't heavily rely on poking with your Q during the laning phase in LeBlanc and especially if you're in a ranged matchup then you're not really even going to be able to Q too much in the laning phase with her so it's only really going to hurt LeBlanc in melee matchups for the first few levels. Also, with someone like Akali, in melee matchups, this really won't affect her too much because a lot of Akali players, they take Klepto and you're going to be auto attacking anyways with Akali. So when you use your Q in the laning phase, you're going to a lot of the time want to walk up and try to get that auto. So you're already going to be taking minion aggro in patch 8.1. So because your Q on Akali uh, will now grab the minion aggro, it's not the end of the world for her. And then same thing goes for picks like Anivia and Malzahar. You don't really need to be hitting your targeted abilities in the laning phase in order to succeed with them. So a lot of time with Anivia, you want to hit your Q first before using your E, but in certain melee matchups, you will want to poke only with your E. So in, depending on the situation, this will hurt picks like Anivia and Malzahar. And then for these support picks like the Nami and the Janna, I think it does depend on the laning phase and how the lane is going as to how this will affect them. If you are looking to freeze in the laning phase, but you still want to pressure and you still want to try to harass with your Ws, then it will hurt them a little bit. But if you're already shoving in the laning phase and you don't really care too much about freezing, then I don't really think this is going to affect them much at all. So that is going to be all for this video. These were the champions that I think are going to be most affected by these changes. And like I said at the start of the video, if you notice that I didn't mention a champion champion that will be getting one of these changes in this next patch, then it means I don't think they're really going to be affected too much and you shouldn't really worry about that change that that champion is getting. If you guys want to though, I did leave in the description below every single champion's change. So if you don't want to take a look at if one of your main champions ended up getting a change, then you can do that if you want to. But with that being said guys, if you did enjoy the video, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you've yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video.